One of the closest planets is also one of the most elusive, the planet Mercury. Because Mercury is so close to the sun, it is only ever visible for a few minutes after sunset or before sunrise, and even that for only a few days a year. Legend has it that the great astronomer Copernicus remarked on his deathbed that he regretted never seeing Mercury with his own eyes. The classical Greek version of Mercury was the god Hermes. Hermes was a rather busy god. He was a god of both thievery and of honest trade, of messengers and shepherds, of trickery, and most famously, he was the herald of the gods. Hermes was also a psychopomp, one who guided the souls of the departed to their destinations. On the day that Hermes was born, he climbed out of his crib and saw a tortoise shell. The infant Hermes took the shell and built the first lyre on which to play music. On the same day, Hermes found a herd of cattle owned by the god Apollo. Hermes stole the herd and hid the cattle in a cave. But Apollo was the god of prophecy and he used that power to learn what had happened to his herd. Apollo asked Zeus to make Hermes return the cattle. Zeus couldn't believe that a baby would steal a herd of cattle until he went to the cave and saw it with his own eyes. Zeus was so charmed that a day-old infant could steal a herd of cattle that he refused to punish the young Hermes. And when Apollo saw the lyre that Hermes had made, Apollo agreed to trade his herd of cattle for the lyre willingly. Not long after, while tending to those cattle, Hermes fashioned the first shepherd's flute. Apollo also desired this instrument, and so he traded his golden staff for it, and also agreed to teach Hermes the power of prophecy. And so the two gods became close friends. On another occasion, Hera caught her husband Zeus in an affair with a young woman named Io. Zeus tried to hide his infidelity by turning Io into a cow. But Hera was not fooled, and asked Zeus to give her the cow as a present. Zeus was unable to refuse without admitting his guilt. Hera then placed Io under the watch of Argus, a monster with a hundred eyes to prevent Zeus from rescuing her. So Zeus gave the task of rescuing Io to Hermes. Hermes lulled Argus to sleep by playing his flute. Hermes then slew the slumbering Argus and set Io free.